Hello everyone, it's Raven, and welcome to the first of the Quick Tips videos. This is a brand new series I've been thinking about doing for a little while, and tell me if you like it in the comments, slash leaving a like or two, just to tell me if you guys want to see more of it, or if I just should scrap the project. So, first off, um, I see a lot of ships with detailing like this, all in line. One of the things you can do to improve this is to layer the details. For instance, this is exactly the same pattern, not with the exception of this little piece right here, but all the black is raised and the white is lowered, and it tends to give a nice little look. So all you have to do, and it also allows you to add wedges um, freely, which looks, in my opinion, much, much better. And I'm sorry if you guys hear white noise now. Unfortunately, my air AC unit, whatever, just kicked up, so. Sorry. Um, so this is just one little thing. Just add uh, raising all your detailing or raising and lowering detailing can be an easy way to um, to just make your ship look a little bit prettier. And in case you're wondering, you know, worried that oh, you know, what about you know it adds mass, etc. Well, yeah, it does, but not much. And you can easily add systems directly underneath these blocks. Not a problem. Next up, just a little bit of interior detailing. Let's take a look. These two rooms are essentially the same other than the details. So as you come into this one, drop the door, come on through, you'll notice it's an average room. I see this particular type of room a lot. So let's take a look at the other side. All right, so um, in this one, you'll notice already the doorway is black. It distinguishes the fact that it's a doorway. We've added wedges which tend to look a little bit better, so just a little tip. And as we come in, you'll notice that there are wedges right here. You can do this on hallways, you can do this in rooms, it will open up the room a lot. Doing little things like that really helps. It really looks good in hallways as well. I'll do a little tutorial or something like that on that particular aspect later on, possibly in a school of design when I start covering interiors. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is for this. Uh, let's check out the last one, which is hallways. Alright, we've got three hallways to take a look at, and the first one is one I see a lot. It's not always crystal, sometimes it's lights, sometimes there's on the side, sometimes there's little things, but it's typically just like this. There's no wedges, there's nothing, it's just a straight hallway. I see this a lot, and I'm not gonna lie, it starts to irk me. Now, I understand, you know, sometimes you don't have much more space than this, so we'll take a look at one that takes up exactly the same amount of space, but looks at, in my opinion, a hell of a lot better. All right, so this one takes up exactly the same amount of space, if not, in a way, a little bit less, and it looks a lot better. So we've put in the top-mounted lights. You could do them side-mounted if you wanted. Um, that's perfectly viable. In fact, you could almost do recess, because on this side, you'll see this actually comes down one, you could put lights right here and wedges right here. However, you would probably need a block along this piece along here. So, eh, hit or miss, um, but it works. So, if you add in structural pieces, and you'll notice the rule of three is here. So, three, and then one, and then three, and then one. You get it. Um, yeah, and it opens up the hallway while keeping it kind of compact, and it makes you feel like you're in a much bigger space than you really are. All right, so that's this hallway essentially done. Let's take a look at a uh, what happens when you add one block in, in every dimension. One to the left, one to the right, one to the top, one to the bottom. Okay, so I've got a couple little things here. I'm gonna go ahead and tab, tab, uh, tab G here. Um, this is the first uh, half of it, and you'll notice there's a door partway through. Interspersing doors like this is actually a really great idea because it it breaks up the hallway and makes you feel like they're blast doors. And you'll notice that this part is essentially the same. I've got, you know, this structurally, and then I have black back here, and it kind of comes out a little ways. It tends to look really, really nice. Um, however, you'll notice it's bigger. It's significantly bigger. But if you have the space, this is really great for engineering type areas. Using power blocks instead of, you know, your average lights can be really nice. Now, admittedly, you can't turn them off, but for an engineering area or an airlock, it looks really good. You can even connect all these if you wanted um, to actually make an uh, make 
it part of your battery, like a legitimate part. It adds stats. So if we go through here, you'll notice the next part here, we've got pieces that actually start to look a bit like cables. Now you could actually add a wedge right here so it looks like it's going through and then dropping down. And that's a pretty cool effect as well. And all of this doesn't take up much more space than the other version, or even even the 3x3. This is a 5x5. So it's a little bit bigger. Um, actually, I think it's 7 across on the very outside. But either way, um, it's a little bit bigger, but that's alright. I mean, if you have the space to do it, do it. It ends up looking really, really nice. And so, yeah, that's, that's the quick tips. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's informative. If you've got any questions or want to see more of these, go ahead and leave a comment slash leave a like. Just let me know somehow that, the, that you'd like to see more. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you again next time.